Joining us now from Capitol Hill, Wyoming Senator John Barrasso, a Senate Republican Policy Committee chairman and a member of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee. Senator, good morning to you. You will be at that meeting in a short while. What do you hope will come out of it? Well, I think it's a time, Heather, to listen to the president, but I want to work together in a bipartisan way on actually breaking through the gridlock that we've had in Washington and focus on jobs, energy, the economy, affordable health care, things that we can actually do to get the country moving together. And most of these are bills that have already passed Congress in a bipartisan way. But Harry Reid is blocked from coming out of the Senate. Okay. So I'd like to hear the president working with us on those that on those issues. Okay. One thing I want to ask you about is the issue of immigration. And six of your Republican colleagues have sent a letter to Harry Reid, basically saying that the Supreme Court has said that Congress has a purview over the issue of immigration. This, of course, as the president says, that he's going to do uh, use some executive action against that or on that issue. This letter says, in part, President Obama will be exercising his powers properly belonging to Congress. If he makes good on his threat, this will create a constitutional crisis that demands action by Congress to restore the separation of powers. What is your reaction to that letter? Well, uh, I agree with them. I think that the president's decision, if he does that, would be a toxic decision. Uh, and uh, he really shouldn't go down that road. I understand the president is trying to regain his footing and prove his relevance after a very tough election that he lost, his policies lost all around the country. But Heather, no one ran for office this year uh, campaigning to say the president ought to do more executive orders and specifically on immigration. Well, what specifically so, uh, are Republicans prepared to do about it? Well, I will just say that there will be a swift and proportional response if the president takes this action, and I believe it would be a mistake for the president to go down this road. Okay, let me ask you about potential areas of agreement. One of the things that stalled immigration reform was in the, in the House, specifically, where folks were concerned that the president wouldn't fulfill his obligations or his agreement on border security. Are there any areas of agreement when it comes to border security, something that is so important to so many Americans, according to the polls? Well, border security is key. We need to modernize our immigration laws. And that's the reason that I think we ought to come back together after the new, the new Senate and House are sworn in, in in January and focus on that. And certainly, border security is the key to all of it. After you make sure that the borders are secure, then you can talk about all of these other components. Okay, but then uh, uh, the president's action, though, before the next Congress, could eliminate a lot of what you guys would like to do in the next Congress about that. What is your what is your take on that? Well, I still think it would be a terrible mistake for the president this close to an election where his policies all across the country all right, were Senator defeated soundly that he shouldn't head in this direction. All right, Senator Barrasso, uh, best of luck to all of you at that meeting today. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Heather.